are good. Oh, and then you also are opening the comments behind. Just nice. Alright. But y'all I've been on a wave. I've been on a wave. Please don't come around me trying to kill my vibe. Y'all been jumping ships while I'm out here catching tides. Thought I told y'all. Security at the door and they bought the whole jar. Hello everybody, Tracy Hathler joined by one of the baddest dudes on the planet. Kevin? Not Kevin. <laughs> not Cody. But Matt Schnell, Danger Cage. Before we get started... Happy birthday. Thank you very much, yeah. What is that? You're like 26 now. 32 years old. 32 years young. My wife says I don't look a day over 31. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look good. I wish I looked as good as you did at 32 years old. It's a long time ago. Um, so, but anyway, Matt has been nice enough to join us. We're going to break some UFC Immaculate from Panini America. But uh, Cody Krim, Texas Roadshow, Kevin Kulikowski, New York Roadshow. I'm just Roadshow Cards, and this is the UFC uh, Dangerous Flyweight, Danger Cage, Matt Schnell. Um, so anyway, you and I first met when I worked at another company called Panini, and we announced uh, the UFC license. Matt hit us up via a comment on the on the post and said, "Hey, congratulations! This is awesome. I'm a collector." And then he had me, and I'm a collector. Um, and you you live in Houston, from Louisiana, and you would train in Dallas train three in days Dallas. a week. Yep. He didn't when he walked in the door. He didn't have a card deal, and when he left, he had already signed his autographs for his his next product. So <laughs> it was a successful trip, but got to know Matt then and have kept in touch with him and. Such a good dude. Appreciate um, that. And, and I've had the luxury of watching you fight in person, and uh, hopefully we'll have the luxury to watch you fight again real soon. Your next fight's February 12th? February 12th at the Toyota Center. So back, back in Houston, a little redemption. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting out there. Tough fight as always, but that's how it is. Yeah. You know, I started collecting probably around 11, 12 years old. I've always been a football fan, and I predominantly collect football and UFC. I got a couple of guys I collect myself, and I got a couple of UFC guys that I collect as well. But uh, just pretty much since I was a kid, been collecting and love it, and uh, was really, was really, really into it when I was younger. Then I uh, discovered girls around the age of like 16, and and uh, kind of came out of it a little bit. But then I married my wife, and now I'm back into sports cards. So here we are. <laughs> now, now you're into one girl, That's which right. is great. Um, so before we dive into Immaculate, I'm going to talk to Kevin and Cody. Kind of what what are your um, expectations for your first break with the UFC fighter? I don't want to get knocked out. I <laughs> hey, I tell you what, these hands been hot here lately, baby. We might pull something big here. I don't know. Cody, what about you? You got any questions, expectations of? Um, yeah. Well, first, you know, because we had the opportunity to work together at Panini, meet a lot of athletes that then say that say things like they're a big collector or whatever. Yeah. But then like. You talk to them about cards, and they clearly have no idea what they're talking. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, it's not this guy. Yeah, and it, but but to see this guy, this guy before he was even doing signings was walking around with a two row box <laughs> before the like before he was even. Hey, we got to we sign, got some so. deals done here too. <laughs> Did you? The cards, oh yeah. Oh, so yeah. so when we say he's a collector, we actually mean he's a collector, and it's not just a he's an athlete that's having fun yeah. breaking some boxes. Yeah, he actually collects, and that's always uh, fun to talk about. We've talked about uh, Shreveport, where he's from, and, and stuff like that. So, Just to piggyback off that, yeah. too, I, I mean, the, the community, uh, the card community, it's just such a great tight-knit community. Yeah. Everybody's just so cool. And as much, as, as much fun as it is to collect the cards, it is as much fun to chat with everybody and to get to know people. So genuinely, I love this, uh, I love this community. I love this, uh, this, uh, this whole thing. Yeah, sports well, cards. Well, fun. it was cool to watch you um, – sign earlier and you've signed i think two days now and just the way you spend time with everybody and kind of appreciate their cards and their appreciation of you is has been fun to watch so. well to piggyback off that the first thing I, I said was it's nice to see an athlete that knows to rub chrome cards oh, yeah. and eraser yeah. before he signs or else they're going to bubble most athletes are just signing in All right, so I don't know what's in here. I haven't opened this yet. I've only seen it here, open. You can open it. Um, and I'm you excited. Have, you don't have a box cutter? Uh, well, I'm not that good. So. Fair, fair. Um, but you knew that. I, 
Listen, we knew what we signed up for. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but who are you dealing with here? So this is it. This is the fourth and final product of Panini's first year in the UFC. Highest in the UFC. It's the highest in. Loaded. The breaks that I've seen online, have, Panini has done an amazing job. The first round in Colorado? Awesome value. For a lot of people, it is the first on card autos, for, and maybe overall, right? This for, is this is my only on, on card auto. Uh, oh man, that'd be so great if we pull, pull that. Would your be cards. Amazing. On your birthday, no less. On too? my birthday. Are you kidding me? Got to be a one on one hiding in there somewhere. Oh, that'd be so great. So you said you collect UFC guys. Who else do you collect other than yourself? Uh, mostly training partners, and I came up with Poirier, so I, I collect Poirier pretty heavily. Yeah. I sent Matt some boxes, and he opened some with uh, Dustin Poirier. And, did pretty good. Oh, I think too. I saw that on it. Was that on right. his end? Did Poirier put that on Poirier his end? Yeah. Okay. All right, so d- d- starting off with Donald Cowboy Cerrone, base card out of uh, 65. I think that's a base card. It might be a parallel. I think I'm starting out with some gold oh. of the new, hey. newly minted champion. How about that? This is my training partner. No Ryan way. Oh, yeah, that's one right. One. Ryan Spade. No He's my guy. One of one, dude. One of one. That's big. Look, that I is... got the XL. We're not getting that one back. This is... <laughs> this is uh, this Happy is birthday. How about how about nine out of ten for the for dude? The, what the a start to your box, Dang, man. Wow. How about that guy? Talk about that guy, because Glover, I mean, he fought John Jones. 10, 11 years ago? It's it's probably only been five or six years, and I picked Glover to beat him back then. Because Did you? I was in the, I was in the training camp. I was on the mats at American Top Team when he was getting ready for John really? Jones. And watching him, I was like, nobody's going to beat this guy. Yeah. And John Jones smashed him. But it is <laughs> it is nice to see it come back. And, and those those are the guys that I truly appreciate. Yeah, yeah, guys yeah. That go go through it. Do We've it the hard way. On their stripes. I mean, that's an incredible story. That yep. he's the he's the. Champ of the world, and he even like he, you know, just from the way he looks, and he's an sure. older guy, but what a stud! You mentioned American Top Team. Have you seen what Dan Lambert's up to now? Mm-mm. With he is doing cameos on professional wrestling. Oh yeah, I have he seen is, him he on is the working AEW. at AEW. Yeah, he's killing um, it. AEW is bringing in everybody. AEW right? is bringing in the heavy hitters, card, and Bang. Dan Lambert is, is just quality wow. entertainment. Man, this, I mean, we are he's killing the it out of this bar. Ew, like good. We got a Kevin Holland. Also a local guy out of Dallas, yeah. Kevin Holland. It's like the perfect box. Nine and twelve. Man, he, oh, that's his, nice too. He, your box is just smoking this box. <laughs> it's a training shirt. It's cool. They have the training shirt. I think that one said shorts. Mm-hmm. This is another Cowboy Cerrone, fourteen of twenty eight. Very nice. Dan fifty K Ege is there is that one of the best nicknames in the that sport? That is a great nickname, and the guy does. He does it. He gets 50K. He <laughs> just gets bonuses every time. Bonus. <laughs> bonus champ. They're going to be calling you 50K Schnell. Hey, here there we go. Next week, hey, two weeks. Hey, February 12th, we going after 50K. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. This box is killer. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Right. Quinta. Very nice. Nice. Mine, again, you blew me away. I got Ed Shabazian, <laughs> which is fine. Um, he's a, a – a good fighter, obviously. Yeah, Thirty-seven and ninety-nine. A, a, another collector, Ed Shabazz. Oh, really? Yeah, he collects as well. I didn't might know have that. to make sure that he gets that one. I feel like there's a lot of UFC guys that are right. collectors. How man. about this, right? Oh here? my, that's a good. Oh, 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 Tracy. oh you got the Black Beast. What? Okay, wow. so that's a redemption for a ruthless Robbie Lawler legend again. Hey, my, long time. Another one of my favorite fighters, Robbie Lawler. Yeah, because you've probably known him yeah, for a while, but, right? And just watch the guy work. He's incredible. Yeah, he's a warrior. All right, dude. Derek Lewis. 25 of 99, and then how about a Piotr Jan nice. out of 99? Nice. Probably a, once again champion pretty soon. You know, you it's, it's hard to say, though, right? Because that, that 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 is, that's a, the biggest card. Doing here. the jump shot, too, yeah, on there. that's the biggest card for sure. Man, what a beautiful product. Amazing product. And you've seen, so you've seen from a different perspective, Prism, Chronicles, uh, what was the third one I'm missing? Uh, Select. 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 And then now you've seen Immaculate. You you have cards in Immaculate. Mm-hmm. What's been your favorite one so far this year? My favorite rip has been Select. Yeah. Just because of the, the different variations and it, it's just so so much different things to go after. And I really like how the gold looked and uh, all, all the different parallels. So Select was my favorite personally. Yeah. Uh, but but it's all pretty close there. What, what will Ryan say when you show him that card? Will he be as jacked about it as you were? Probably not. I, <laughs> I, I promise it brought me more joy than it will him. You know, I, he probably didn't even – he signed the cards too. But, yeah, that's awesome. That's, that's amazing. Well, you're amazing. Um, 
thank you for joining us again. Thank Kevin, you. Kevin, Cody, do you guys yes. have any? No, we appreciate the time. Any other questions? He didn't knock awesome. you out, which is he, great. I, I, I'm Success. He lasted the whole video. He didn't choke great. anybody out. I tried to stay on my best behavior. He so. pulled some <laughs> knockout cards, though. Big cards. But I'm boom. Please don't come over. It's a match now. We'll road show. I've been jumping ships while I'm out here catching tides. Thought I told y'all. Security at the door and they about to hold y'all. Carry y'all eat the weapons. I'm about to fold y'all.